So I've got something exciting to show you in my hand here. I have shown you before, but I'm very happy because this particular pet bug will be a year old. Not really a year old, but I will have had it for a year. And I had named it Methuselah a while back because it has been so very long lived and they don't usually live this long. It is an arachnid and it is not a spider and it is not a scorpion. It's not a whip spider. It's not a tailless whip scorpion. It's not a whip scorpion. It's not a vinegaroon. It is a camel spider. Another word for a camel spider is a sun spider. Some people call them wind scorpions. I sort of just gave in, jumped on the bandwagon, and I call them camel spiders now. For many, many years, I favored the term wind scorpion, probably because that's what they called it on Bug Guide. But camel spider has gained favor, and since I make videos for the masses, not so much for scientists, but for hobbyists, primarily uh, general lovers of nature, lovers of bugs, I call them camel spiders now too, after that infamous photograph that we are all familiar with. We're using forced perspective. Uh, I think some soldiers in Iraq, US soldiers, held up two camel spiders that uh, one was holding on to the other and they were so near to the lens of the camera that they looked like they were half the size of the man's body who was holding them. Well, of course, uh, they do get much larger in other countries. And this is a particularly small specimen, and we'll take some close-ups of it here in just a moment. But I have seen ones here in the United States with leg spans this big. And in other countries, they do get larger than that, but not nearly as large as the ones in that infamous photograph. So here's Methuselah. Methuselah has been with me since the end of July, early August last year. And uh, if Methuselah actually makes it a full year here, I'll do a, I'll do a video on them. I do have a second Methuselah, Methuselah 2.0, that I acquired within the last, I don't know, month or so. And we're providing the exact same care for Methuselah 2.0, and if we are able to raise it, keep it alive, I'll be doing a video about how we've been able to be successful in an area where so many that have come before, including all of my prior experiences in raising camel spiders, resulted in failure. Comment down below if you remember me featuring Methuselah in any of the prior videos. I made a couple. And if you have a camel spider pet right now, I'd love to hear about your experiences too. There's an Egyptian one, uh, Galeotes, I think is the genus. I don't know that I've ever had one but uh, they do really well in captivity compared with our U.S. species. Most of our U.S. ones are probably in the genus Arimobates or Arimobates. Not so sure which one this is, but we found her in Arizona last year, and she's not a fast specimen. <laughs> I think she's probably a little chilly here on my hand. My house isn't particularly warm, but there she is, and uh, we'll do a happy birthday video for her at the end of the month if she makes it to that 12th month. And I'm feeling pretty confident about that. Jessica has been taking wonderful care of her, and we've adopted sort of a low-maintenance approach keeping the specimen, and so far, so good.
So for the remainder of this video, I don't normally post videos up on Wednesdays. Um, going to do a Friday video still. I have no idea what I'm going to make that video about. I was leaning towards going camping tomorrow. And uh, I haven't been camping in well over a decade, by the way. So it was going to be a bit of an adventure for me and a little outside of my normal comfort zone. Uh, comfort definitely being the operative word there because, um, well, I guess I got myself an air mattress that's about this thick uh, the other day. And uh, I think I'm, I'm going to take you guys with me on some camping trips here. Uh, as the weather gets a little warmer, the trip for uh, tomorrow is uh, rained out, as it turns out. So we're going to, for the remainder of this video, I'm going to give you an update also on uh, the owls that I've been seeing around the house here. Some of you may remember that from a prior video. Um, and then I set up black light in my backyard probably most nights uh, in the warmer nights of the year. I haven't been doing it as much this year, just been so busy. Um, but I'll show you some of the bugs that showed up at my black light here in the last couple nights. And, uh, oh, the whole point of me uploading this video actually is I have gotten quite behind on uh, giving out the prizes for commenters uh, in the videos. And so for the uh, last four or so minutes of this video, um, we're going to draw lots of names for a couple different videos worth. I think there are uh, six, eight or nine winners for prizes. So be sure if you're a regular commenter or you have commented for some of the recent videos, uh, the ones that I mentioned here later in this video, that you watch because Eight or nine people are winning prizes here at the end of this video, including stickers, including some of the uh, merch from the Tarantula Collective, uh, Richard Stewart over at that YouTube channel when we collaborated recently on the Trapdoor Spider video. And just over the edge there, it's a fire-colored beetle. And let's bring it through here. Well. It is actually a male, but its antennae are broken a bit. And that's kind of strange. Normally they have these very long feathery antennae. Good shot of the large compound eyes there. And this ortholeptera is probably a little larger than you would guess. Actually, that looks more like one of the pine longhorns. Doesn't have the darker spots. Douglas fir and another longhorn beetle right here. I didn't even see that. Just a few inches away. Only seen a few of these in my lifetime. To the point I don't recall what their name is off the top of my head but I did post them to Bug Guide, and they were identified for me there. Down here, a very small mayfly. Three tails on this particular one. Sometimes two, sometimes three. A very small species. A leaf roller moth. common. The family is Tortricity. So, I've got a breeding pair of Enoplognatha. That there, it's a female. Yellowish spiders. Comb-footed spider family. And her mate, a male. It's back there on the underside of the leaf. There's a weevil sitting up here. Too hard shell to fall prey to either one of them. 
It's got some nice red striping as the species sometimes does, lending them the name Candy Stripe Spider. <laughs> Owls swooping on that squirrel. From the recent Mantis video, going to pick winners. First place prize is going to be this Orchid Mantis sticker right here. And Lano, who commented I wanted to try breeding orchids, so I bought six of them, ended up with six females, LOL. Second place is for this brown ghost manta sticker. These stickers are by shapesandnature.com, by the way. And that's Jennifer Strickland from High Desert Herps. Thank you both for participating. And we're gonna roll in here to my collaboration with Richard Stewart from the Tarantula Collective. First place prize for this commenting contest is going to be for this Tarantula Collective face mask. Pretty popular, popularly needed item these days. And Haley Watchell wins that. She's always been fascinated by trapdoor spiders. Such a cool little predator. Awesome, awesome documentary. Thank you for doing this giveaway. And thank you for commenting, Haley. Second place prize is going to be for this The Tarantula Collective pin. And that's going to go to Emily McLaughlin. Found your channel through The Tarantula Collective. Wonderful. Another person who lives in the Pacific Northwest. And we'll go on to the next one here for this Tarantula Collective bracelet. My lighting's not real good here, sorry about that. I love his black background and glowing green text. Signature colors in all his videos, and Naomi Anderson wins that one. Lives in Colorado, saw a trapdoor spider in the air vent and would feed it moths. <laughs> right there in our house. Okay, and two more prizes here. We've got two stickers. One sticker going to Naomi Anderson. Um, I'm gonna select another winner because she already won a prize, the bracelet. So back up for this sticker right here. We've got Madi20. This is a person who lives in Algeria. I recognize him from Instagram. Unfortunately, I cannot ship there. And I note that frequently in the contests. So we're gonna to have to pick another one here yet again. Sorry about that, Madi. <laughs> Naomi Anderson, fortune favors her. We've got Shane Carlson. This video makes me wanna go find some trapdoor spiders in my area. Any of you who won, please contact me either here or even better yet, through my email, peter at bugsandcyberspace.com. And thanks again to Richard. This is the final sticker right here, which is going to Jessica Cummings. <laughs> Congratulations to everybody who participated. Thank you all for watching the videos. And thanks again to Richard Stewart from The Tarantula Collective for donating these prizes for you guys and we'll see you on YouTube again soon. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up, and please subscribe and hit the little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching.